Well, people needing an ambulance will get a free ride with paramedics taking a drastic stand after a patient was forced to wait more than 30 minutes for treatment. The industrial action will cost the government $200,000 a day. A free ride paramedics take a stand after an elderly patient suffering internal bleeding was left waiting in an ambulance at Flinders last night. The crew had a patient, they unloaded them uh, and tried to uh, take them into the emergency department and were told to get back in the ambulance with the patient and they were going to be ramped. And they were. The health minister admits it was busy and there were delays but says that ambulance was not ramped. They were brought into the hospital immediately. The ambulance officer stayed with the, or the paramedic stayed with the patient for a little period of time, uh, but they weren't left in an ambulance. The Ambulance Employees Association says it's an ongoing problem and members are fed up. Why would they make it up? It happened to them, they're frustrated by it, they're annoyed that they can't um, continue to go out there and give the community the coverage it needs. And the union says there will be free rides every time an ambulance is ramped until the problem is rectified, costing the health department up to $200,000 a day. The minister has launched an independent investigation. In every other hospital, um, this is not a problem. There seems to be an issue here and I want to explore what the issue is and see what we can do uh, to address it. Late this afternoon, the minister's office reviewed CCTV footage at the hospital and confirmed the patient waited in the ambulance for over 30 minutes. Tom Hicks, Nine News.